ride off the red neck reindeer. I was just sitting there and all of a sudden all the kangaroos ran away. I wondered what it was that spooked them. Came out, sure enough. There's a deer in there. Well, I don't mind a feral deer or two. Everybody else shoots them and harasses them. But I think they're pretty decorative. Okay, Bambi? Waffles on a lot to YouTube. Yes, you can see me, can't you? And you can hear me. And you can probably smell me too by now. Kangaroo's running away in the background. I walk an odd number of steps and then stop. Young buck. I can see his pizzle hanging there. Either it knows I'm a pacifist vegetarian and this is a camera, or it's had some contact with friendly people before. Quite remarkable. Sniffing its head up. Basically giving me the same feed me sign the swamp wallabies do. Here it goes. Just have to be a bit careful walking barefoot on the rocks. Don't want to find self-treading on a snake while concentrating on the deer. There we go. Now did you see that bouncy, bouncy, bouncy sort of a cross between a canter and a gallop or whatever, all four legs off the ground at once? I have a strong suspicion that the people who think they're recording the noise of yowies and yetis and sasquatches and bigfoots at night when they hear something go clump, 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 clump through the bush, it's a deer at most economical speed. They can walk and they can trot and they can do that sort of a bandy thing where all four legs are off the ground. At night it sounds a whole lot like a swamp wallaby at speed as well. But anyway, Barefoot deer stalking. Ciao.